Burundi is facing mounting unrest ahead of its June presidential election. Controversy is swirling around the president's right to run for another term. That was the topic of discussion on VOA's Straight Talk Africa program. Here is VOA's Paul Sisko. Burundian President Pierre Kurenzuza intends to run for another third term, according to his advisors, political observers, and the opposition. But controversy has emerged because he was first elected president unopposed by the National Assembly in August of 2005, and was only directly elected by the people once in August of 2010. The Burundi Constitution currently limits a president to two five-year terms. Burundi's recent political situation has been one of uneasiness. Agathon Rawasa, the leading opposition candidate, says the nation's political structure is decaying. The political environment in Burundi is always tense, and it does not show signs of improving. Rather, it may deteriorate even further. There have been massive demonstrations in the nation's capital, Bujumbura, as the elections approach. When Burundians voted in 2010, the opposition pulled out, giving President Kurunziza an easy victory. On the latest edition of Straight Talk Africa, host Shaka Sali asked both of his guests for their take on the controversy. The move by the incumbent president, um, Kurunziza, to go for another term is not necessarily uh, illegal, but you find it perhaps illegitimate. First, let me put one thing clear. President Nkurunziza is a member of the ruling party. When he got uh, appointed to represent the party, it came from the General Assembly or Congress of the party. Mm -hmm. President Nkurunziza is not the one who decides that I have to run or not. The decision comes from his party. Uh, and uh, as we talk now, his party has not yet decided on who is coming for the forthcoming presidential election. No one should be able to run the country for more than 10 years, whether it's uh, constitutional or unconstitutional. I, I mentioned earlier before, this is a legacy, uh, a defining moment for the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, that two months or three months before the elections, we're still arguing about who is the candidate, who's going to be the candidate, mm. shows you a problem of how dysfunctional our politics is. While in Washington for last year's African Leaders Summit, President Kurunziza met with Secretary of State John Kerry. Secretary Kerry said Burundi must determine its own democratic political fate, but America is ready to assist them. It's still up to Burundi to secure uh, the notion that elections are going to be free and fair and transparent, peaceful, but the U.S. intends to help uh, where we can. The United Nations Security Council has weighed in on the controversy, releasing a statement on February 19th that also stressed the crucial need for a free, credible, and peaceful process in the upcoming presidential election. Paul Sisko, VOA News.